Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Mekla, gynecologist and IVF specialist and welcome you to Indra IVF Whitefield Center. Today let's talk about age and fertility. I'll be covering three topics, that is some basic physiology about egg reserves, the factors that affect egg quality and what can be done. So let's begin. The best analogy I use to explain ovaries to anyone is consider the ovaries as a vault and inside the vault are all the eggs that a woman is born with. So when you're born, the vault is full and over the course of time, the eggs in the vault decrease till it completely empties. That's when you reach menopause. So full at birth and empty at menopause. So how does nature reduce the number of eggs? Every month, a group of eggs come out of the vault and one of them is chosen to ovulate and the rest will die. The important thing to remember is that the number of eggs coming out of the vault is proportional to the number of eggs inside. This means to say, when you're 20 years old or younger, you have more eggs inside. So an average number of eggs that come out every month range between 12 to 16. But at the age of 40, the average comes down to 3 to 4. So the number of eggs you have inside the vault is a term we refer to as ovarian reserve. This is measured through a simple blood test called anti-mullerian hormone or AMH. So if the AMH is low, we expect less eggs to come out of the vault. And if the AMH is more, we expect a lot of eggs. Now can we see the eggs? No, the eggs are microscopic, but what we can see is the fluid that surrounds the egg. So when you undergo a scan or follicular scan, we see four fluid filled sacs that show us the number of eggs. This is called AFC or antral follicle count. Every woman is born with a different starting number and every woman has a different rate of decline. So some women may run out of eggs faster and some women may have longer to go. So the blood test AMH and the scan AFC is a one-time snapshot of where you are at the moment. We can't predict where you will be in the next years to come. But what we can tell you is where you stand at the current moment when you come for a fertility check. One thing is for certain, you have more eggs today than you are going to in the future because you run out of eggs constantly as you go through life. Sometimes if the AMH is critically low, then it feels concerning that you did something wrong. No. Get that thought out of your head. You just need to be ready to be more aggressive in treatment because we don't know what the future holds. AMH does not predict the ability to get pregnant. This confuses many people. Your body doesn't care if 30 eggs come out of the vault or 3 eggs come out. One is chosen to ovulate, which means you are giving one egg the chance to fertilize and become pregnant. But another thing that happens as we age and the thing that bothers us is as we age, there is a decrease in quality of the eggs. One way I use to explain quality is imagine that inside the eggs, there are hundreds of batteries, which are the storehouse of energy. The medical term for this is mitochondria, but for the purpose of understanding, let's stick to battery. Now, when we are young and energetic, we have a lot of energy, but as we age, our battery runs out. The egg is connected to blood supply prior to ovulation, that is before egg release. And it is again connected when the baby or the embryo gets attached to the uterus, that's called implantation. But between ovulation and implantation, there is a gap of six days. This is when the baby or the embryo are dependent on the energy that's coming from the battery, which is inside the egg. So the older egg has less energy and it can't withstand the six day travel to the uterus. It may stop dividing in between. So that's why it gets harder to get pregnant as you age. Another thing you must have noticed is the number of miscarriages also increase as we age. Why does this happen? Now to understand this, you must know that every cell is made up of a set of chromosomes. One part we get from our mother through the egg and another part we get from the father through the sperm. When both combine, there is a quality check by an inspector called the DNA repair mechanisms. If it finds a problem, it gets corrected and if, and if everything checks out, we get a healthy embryo. But as we age, the DNA repair mechanisms are also at fault. So the problems which happen during mixing of the chromosomes are not repaired. Then we get unhealthy or genetically unhealthy embryos which can't sustain life and this leads to an abortion. Age is one constant factor that we can't change. But there are some lifestyle factors that if corrected could help. For example, smoking. Studies have shown that women who smoke typically have fewer eggs and lower percentage of healthy eggs. They go into menopause an average of four years earlier than women who don't smoke. So giving up smoking is definitely beneficial. 
Some medical conditions like endometriosis and PCOS are also known to hamper egg quality. But the most dreaded factor is stress. So you might have stress at work, you have to attain targets, you have to complete projects, you, have, you may have lost the job. But when you reach home, there can be other kinds of stress like seeing a loved one suffer or with illnesses or having to suffer the loss of someone special along with the burden of not being able to conceive. This causes immense psychological stress and stress is known to make you age faster. But more importantly, it has a negative effect on the eggs. How? The increased level of stress hormone, that is cortisol, it reduces estrogen production, which in turn deteriorates egg quality. Everyone must have heard about antioxidants and its benefits. Normally, there is a balance between reactive oxygen species and antioxidants. But what stress does is increases the level of reactive oxygen species, which alters the balance. Accumulation of this reactive oxygen species leads to oxidative damage to the egg. So it hampers the number as well as quality. So apart from quitting smoking and de-stressing yourself, it goes without saying that you should adopt a healthy diet and exercise. But before starting fertility medications, please consult with a fertility expert at the earliest. I hope I have made it simple for you to understand the effect of equality on fertility. Please drop in your queries in the comment section below.